Welcome to Shoot and Plank. Welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Hey, we're back with one of my favorite rifles, the Henry Long Barrel Frontier, but that's not what we're going to be talking about necessarily. I wanted to put a different scope on it. I wasn't sure what I was, and I had I had this one. This is the Skinner Optics, just a fantastic scope. I've used it on the Henry Single Shot 223 and some other things I've tried it on. And I thought, you know, this would be so great to put on this long barrel. I think it would just be super. So I did. And it really shows the difference in a quality scope. I had this thing resighted, nothing flat. I fired a couple of rounds, and just to make sure that I was seeing what I thought I was, it was like a foot off when I put this on. And by the way, these are not rimfire rings. Uh, I've got the adapters in here and eventually I might get some rimfire rings then I'll have to reside it But right now I'm using it this way But I took the top turret off Just a few clicks and it was probably within I don't know maybe about a half inch of the bullseye I made a couple of more clicks and bang she was on that fast And it just shows you the difference some of these scopes you're back and forth and back and forth But no this thing was on and we're going to shoot it. We're going to be planking. I've got 10 rounds loaded in here. We've got 10 targets. we got those dual outdoors targets again. And you know, if you remember any of the other videos, they don't always come flying out of there. They, they lock themselves in some oddball way they do it, but they do it. And we've also got our Make It Ring AR-500 bottles. So uh, let's go back here to 25 yards and start shooting. Okay, you can see that I've got you uh, zoomed in here. And uh, we're going to put our first round in. We're going to start with the top one. And whoops, we've got to take the, open up the lens cap. And then we're going to see what we can do. We're going to turn on the red dot just for the heck of it here. So I've got that on. I'll put on intensity of 6 because it's bright enough. And we'll see what we can do. Yep. She's on. It hit that one, but it didn't go over. You can see that. Hit that one too, it didn't go over. that lone bottle over there. That should be the last round. It is. We're going to grab those two and just take a look at them. Okay, I grabbed those two. Put that down. You can see she's empty. I may end up having to put an extension on that hammer. I don't know. But, I looked at them and uh, here's where the one is that I hit right there. I know it just because of the way it's, it, it, it's a different color when they first hit. It'll wear off then later. Uh, this one, definitely, this is the darkest, right dead center, middle. You can probably see that. Uh, and that is probably the reason it didn't come out. I noticed it re-hit hard this way. For some reason, a lot of times those will lock themselves in. I kind of think it's this little tab down here. If that gets down in there, that the whole thing will just move. It just they don't still all come out. That's a do all outdoors, by the way. I like them. Uh, just wish they'd fly out all the time like they should. But at least you know if they're hit. Uh, as far as the rifle and the scope, great combination. I'm glad I did this. Um, this is just I had planned on leaving this with the Henry, uh, which in some ways I wish I had of. Uh, but I got one, so had to make my decision, and that's what I did. I, I definitely went with the long barrel. And this is a special rifle anyway. I know it, those of you that have followed Shoot and Plank already have heard the story about it. But those of you that have this is the first time, you notice the buttstock? It says, in memory of mom. Now, the story is, and I'll try to get this through quick. 
We were going to take a photo of this because mom is not was not much taller than this rifle. She's only four five, and when she'd shoot, she had an unorthodox way of putting it up on her shoulder because she was a little. But you're not going to argue with a lady; it hits the bullseye. Um, so what we were going to do is take a photo of her with this rifle. It arrived two weeks after she had died, so um, we didn't get that photo. But one of the girls, Lori is her name, she worked for Henry. She is, somebody owes me a favor. And she ordered us all up, this engraved stock, butt stock, and she says, now, every time you shoot that rifle, we've got mom with a Henry. And uh, maybe mom's here today with that. Maybe she likes that Skinner sight. It would have helped her because she had a lot of eye pro sight problems. But, uh, that uh, this Skinner is just super. I can see one thing. Or here's something you ought to always remember: is to turn that dot off. Otherwise, you're going to run the battery down. I had the dot still on on the six intensity, and I'm going to laughingly leave this with it because uh, to me it's just a match. That's all there is to it. Very good quality scope. And by the way, right now, at the time of this video, the, these scopes are selling off of the Skinner website at $249. Um, very good price for an extremely quality scope. I mean, I had that thing tuned in and nothing flies. Just a couple of clicks and she was ready to go. And you could see how it was. It was dead on, 25 yards. I'd like to fire it at 50. I don't want to keep you around for that. It's also getting late in the day. I got to pick up. I got to get out of here. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of flanking.